All right, my name is Kobe Coffer, and sadly, this brings us to the last Kobe's Corner of the entire year. It's a sad one for all of us. What are your thoughts? Well, I mean, it's just sad to see it go, but I'm looking forward to it next year, you know? Kobe's Corner 2013. So, the last Kobe's Corner starts now. Welcome to Kobe's Corner. Our first segment, Kobe's Current Events. I bet a lot of you might be aware of the Grammys, the popular music award, but I'm not sure all of you are aware that teachers can now be awarded Grammys. Our very own jazz teacher, Les Rose, was nominated among 200, over 270 other teachers for the first ever Grammy awarded to music teachers. To tell you more, I have conducted an interview with Les Rose. I'm Les Rose. I've been the band director of Dos Pueblos High School since 2002, and I'm the instrumental music director. This Grammy Award, uh, this is the newest thing from the Grammy Foundation. They just decided in this past year to include a music educator component to the Recording Artists Award. And any music educator can be nominated but it took a major essay and presentation about your career and your teaching philosophy in order to go from just simply being nominated to getting to the quarterfinals. Uh, there were about 30,000 nominees initially, and then the applications went out, and the quarterfinalists were announced, and it went down to 217. So I'm really, really proud and excited that I'm one of those. Now, the criteria to get to the semifinals is a lot more involved. And fortunately, your fantastic DP News staff and Mr. John Dent, the best in the world, uh, have been helping me put together what's going to turn out to be three short videos where I have to once again articulate my teaching philosophy and explain some of the highs and the lows of my teaching career, um, include some testimonials from present students and past students, and also a video of me actually teaching. And they, they take it from there. They do the judging and whatever they like, that's who gets into the semifinals. They want us to succeed, and they really want to do, they want to choose what they think is going to be the best representation of what music education is all about. So they're in our, they're in our corner, DP is in our corner, and I hope this just focuses a great light on music education in Santa Barbara. So I bet a lot of you are familiar with the exclusive water fountain over at the Engineering Academy, but I'm not sure all of you are aware that a new similar water fountain was put in by the cafeteria. Here's more. I'm here in front of the chilled filtered water dispensing unit, also known as the water fountain, here in front of the Dos Pueblos cafeteria. What are your opening thoughts? Well, Brett, I really enjoy my job here as the second revolutionary water fountain here at DP, and I strongly believe that I have the power to change the flow of education in our community. This drinking fountain here at the Dos Pueblos Engineering Academy has already saved over 70,000 bottles. It started it all. Hundreds of students find healthy nutrition from me each and every day, and I hope our healthy habits can expand to more portions of the Dos Pueblos campus. Is this just the beginning, or could there be a new breed of high-technology water fountains here at the Dos Pueblos campus? I don't know, but you heard it here first, on Kobe's Corner. Nothing without Kobe's Corner. 